home cooking. Today we're going to be cooking shrimp and grits which is a good southern dish. I hope you like it. Okay today we're going to be using green onion, yellow onion, heavy whipped cream, old-fashioned Quaker grits, AP seasoning, shrimp, butter, and bacon. Okay first we're going to clean the shrimp. We're going to take the shells and the tail off. As you can see, they're already deveined, so we won't have to worry about that. And when you get ready to take that off, you just go in there like that, pull the shell, and pull the tail. Okay, that one's done. Okay, now that all my shrimp is clean, I'm gonna take them over here, put them on this plate, paper towel on it so I can it can absorb all the water because you don't want no water in it when you start to fry it. So you want to take another paper towel just make sure it's good and dry and while that's sitting there we're going to take our bacon over here and we're going to cut it up into little pieces. First of all, I had uh, somebody ask me how to sharpen a knife. And the only thing I can tell you is this thing here is the best thing you could use to sharpen a knife. It will do the job every time. That's good and chopped up. Now I'm gonna get ready to chop up my shrimp. Cut them in half at least. Okay, now that we got all the water out of the shrimp, we're gonna take them over here and we're gonna cut them in half with these shears. It's a good thing to have also in your kitchen. You cut up chicken or whatever you wish with it and it just slides right through it. Now we're gonna go ahead and heat up the liquids for our grits. We're gonna put in two cups of water. Go ahead and cut that down high. And then we're gonna use two cups of whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. And that'll just make the grits much creamier and smoother. You put that in. And while we're waiting on that to warm up, we're gonna take our grits over here and wash it. I bought this nice little strainer you got here and it does a great job and won't let your grits fall through. In. Okay, now I just hang this over my cup and wait for my liquid to start boiling. In the meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and chop up our onions, yellow onion and our green onions. Cut your tips off. That across there on that side, across on this side. And that's that. Bring it back over here to the plate. Put this over here for now. Now we 
going to cut the tips off of these. Chunk the wrist, and now we're still waiting when our liquors to boil. Okay, now our stuff beginning to boil. We're gonna put the grits in there, and we're gonna cook that on simmer. And let it cook on simmer. We're gonna go ahead and stir it up. Put a lid on it and just let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and start my bacon to sizzling up. I love my old skillet. That's the best thing to do anything. In. And we'll wait for we'll wait for that to heat up. Okay, now bacon is cooking. We're gonna cook this until it fries. Look, uh, kind of crunchy. And this will be added back to the uh, shrimp later on. And we're gonna use the oil from this for the shrimp to fry the shrimp. Okay, now my grits been cooking a little while. It has started sticking to the pot. So actually you take your whisk and just whisk it around there so you can keep it good and creamy. And then put your lid back on let it continue to simmer. Okay, my bacon is about done. It's good and crisp. And it's smelling good. I wish y'all could smell it. So I'm gonna take it out now and put it on this plate, this paper towel, so it'll get a drain. Don't want to come out of there. It's gotta come out. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna set that off to the side and let it drink. In the meanwhile, let me pull some of that grease out. Okay. Now you see that little greedy stuff in there? Don't go wash that out because that's gonna make the shrimp taste better. So now I'm gonna dump the shrimp in here. I'm gonna dump my onions in here. I'm gonna season all that with my AP seasoning. Oh yeah, that looks good already. And it's hard to put too much of this, so I'll just stop right there. So we just keep stirring this until it's all good and done. Okay, as you can see, it look good and done right now. Probably about five minutes of cooking time. You don't want to cook shrimp too much to it get rubbery. But that looks just right. So while we're waiting on our grits, we're going to go ahead and cut this off and just let it sit. Now that my grits has been cooking for at least 20 minutes, I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm going to put a half a stick of butter in there and just let it melt down. Uh, I also tasted my grits earlier. 
and I needed to add some more salt. Some people don't like salt, but I had to have salt, so I added some salt. So you could taste it. If you want more salt, put more salt. If you don't, you don't. Now that our grits is about, our butter is about melted in the grits, we're gonna stir that in. A lot of people love cheese, but me, I am allergic to a product of dairy, and I try not to eat any cheese. Now those grits are good, smooth, and creamy. Gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and serve one up. We're gonna burnish it off with some of this bacon. And there you go. This is your Southern Grits and Shrimp. And I want to thank you all for watching my channel. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my channel so you can watch some more of my great cooking on Pop Home Cooking. Thank you again. Bon Appetit.